Welcome back for everybody who was enthusiastic about my last birdhouse video. This is basically a part two to that. I did promise that I would be doing a loot video and we are here. We got the loot video. It has been one week, a pretty obtainable goal for anybody who enjoys playing RuneScape. As you all know, you can check your birdhouses every 50 minutes. So over the last week, I have been passively checking my birdhouses. I didn't want to go too crazy because I did want this to be realistic. I wanted people to be able to do this. Not people who just grind out hours of RuneScape, but normal people who just like to check time to time. Let them know, hey, would this be worth it? Maybe just XP, maybe a little bit of both. And after we did this for a week, as you see, we got over 500 nests. So I would say it's pretty worth it. Those little nests you just seen me opening up with the bird eggs in them, they're pretty unique. Each of the color does not really matter. They're just little bit variations. So you can turn them in. They give you 100 prayer each and you get a seed nest in return. I do see on Rune Wiki where you can get an evil chicken costume. I didn't really look into it much further, but it's on the page, so I'm sure you can do it somehow. With that said, we are now busting into the jewelry. I don't expect much, something I can high out, but for the sake of this video, we will be selling everything. Even if I have to lower the value, we will sell it so that we can get the overall loot, give you guys the most accurate numbers for a week of doing birdhouse runs, so you guys will know if it is worth it or not. Feel free to skip ahead if you're just here for the loot. If you want to hear us break down all these 500 bird nests, feel free to stick around. I'll be talking a little bit. I'll probably fast forward a little bit. And we will get to the bottom of how much these are worth. Just as a way to kind of gauge it, each inventory will bring you around 80 to 85k. We have 500. Inventory holds 28. So there you go. Beside the jewelry and beside whatever seeds we get, that gives you a little indicator. And as for a little background on the subject, you can randomly get these wild wood cutting. The chance of getting one wild wood cutting is 1 in 256 each time you would normally get a log regardless of the type of tree. Players who equip a wood cutting cape have an additional 10% chance of receiving bird nest. Reward from managing miscellanea when subjects are tasked with collecting maple teak mahogany logs. Reward from offering bird eggs to the shrine in the woodcutting guild. Received from Weissen the Gardener in Falador Park in exchange for mole claw and mole skin. Received when emptying birdhouse traps on Fossil Island. Received when chopping ant trunks. Received as a possible tip during Gnome Restaurant minigame. So those are some ways that you can obtain these bird nests. One of them, as you've seen, was the Fossil Island one. The rest of them are a little bit different. Woodcutting probably being the most AFK. That's pretty simple to do. Anyone can do that. Also, a little funny thing to note. There has been multiple changes to, made to the bird nest. I think most notable being that empty nests were made tradable. That is pretty wild to me that they did not used to be tradable. And an empty nest can now be made into banknotes. As you see, you cannot make anything with, say, jewelry or bird egg or anything else in it into a banknote. It will not let you do that. You can banknote an empty nest though, however, thanks to this update. So that's pretty cool. Another thing I should probably mention is you can also get clue scrolls from these nests. I have a clue scroll on my bank for every single tier. I don't ever do them. I have them in there just to have them for when I feel like doing them. So as you've seen, I didn't get any, but that is another chance that you will have. See, bird nests are one of them things that you don't really pay attention to. You know they're there. You've seen them a couple times when you're chopping down some trees, but you never really look at them as a method to make money or make XP. So I was kind of blown away by this. Once I discovered Fossil Island and these uh, birdhouse runs, I was like, cool, tons of XP. And then once I discovered that these seed nests can actually be worth some money, I was like, oh my goodness, we might be onto something. So with the XP piled on top of the GP, turned into something I can't beat. Something I find myself doing multiple times a day. Like I said, every 50 minutes you can do this. And as long as you have a couple dig site pendants in your bank, it is pretty worth it. You give that thing a little rub, teleport yourself over there. It literally takes like a minute and a half, hit your little run, get your 4,000 XP, and get your bird nest. Like I said before, 28 of them is about 80K, so I mean, that's pretty worth it. You've seen one week piled up 500. 
it don't take very long to get 28. So, we are now finally diving into the seed nest. I don't really know what any of the seeds look like. I know that some of them are worth a whole lot of money. So, at the very end of all these seed nests, we will throw everything into my inventory. We will throw everything into the price checker. We will see what we got. After we see what we got, we will dump it into the Grand Exchange and attempt to sell it. Because, if we can't sell it, it ain't worth anything. Don't matter what it says it's worth. If it don't sell, it ain't worth it. So, we will as well be doing that, just so you guys know. Just as a little side note, I did use the U birdhouses on all these runs. That is the highest that I can craft. I know with my hunting being 91, I could have went ahead and bought the magic ones. But, I figured I'd just do the crafting ones. It gives you a little bit of crafting experience. Makes it a little bit more simple. You don't have to keep a bunch of inventory full of birdhouses. Just keep your U logs in there. Grab four of them out. Hammer and chisel. Run over there and build it. No big deal. Either way, I still get 4K XP. So, it works out. You see all these bird nests. I can't complain. And with that said, I am going to fast forward a little bit. And I will be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Drum roll, please. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we like to see. 2.8 mil. Yep, that is from one week of birdhouses. That is 500 birdhouses right there. 2.8 mil. Yep, yep. A couple of them seeds in there worth a couple hundred K. Can't be mad. Got the U, got the magic. Got the celestial or whatever you call that thing. I don't know, but it's worth a lot. Worth like 85K. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. That is great. That's what we like to see. And with that said, like I was saying before, we will throw this in the Grand Exchange. And we will see if it actually sells. Because if it does not actually sell, it is not worth it. So, let's go ahead and let's do that. After we get a little bit of a celebration in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get off here. I am headed back to Fossil Island to build some more birdhouses. 2.6 mil. So it was 200k less than what it said in the checker, but I will take it. With that said, you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to come back. See you guys. <laughs>